guess I need some practice. My name is John Kennedy, and the purpose of this video is to show you a stove that I've made an improvement to. I found the original stove on YouTube, and I like the stove. It's called a biomass stove, but it didn't appear to be complete to me. So I put together a shroud, flue that goes on it, and a cook vessel, and then figured out how to put the whole thing together so that it makes a nice, compact, and complete unit. A couple years ago, I lost a brother who was as good a friend next to my immediate family, my wife and kids that I'll ever have. And we were always going to try and do some sort of a manufacturing operation together, something simple that had the the potential to benefit common people in common places. And this stove, I guess, is sort of in memory to my brother. And uh, I know that he's looking down on it and smiling. I just wish that I had his guidance and his uh, insights, his incredible wisdom that he had, whether it had to do with things mechanical or, or human in nature. Anyway, I'm going to do a series of videos that shows how to use it how to build it if you want to make one yourself and uh, have a little fun in, in the process of doing it. We've also worked out a process where we can manufacture these. They are environmentally friendly, I guess you would say, as they don't use any electricity to be made. They're entirely handmade and they're made almost exclusively from recycled materials. Used tin cans uh, is, is the primary uh, material source for them with the exception of a little bit of high temperature paint that we spray on them and some high tensile wire that we make the, the bales out of. They're, again, entirely recycled from local restaurants and, and places that use food cans. And the best part is they're, they're an incredibly, incredibly efficient stove. They use very, very little fuel. They're very, very easy to use. A small child can light them safely. They'll light in a wind just as easy as a calm day, but they're super, super efficient. It takes very little fuel to boil a full quart of water in generally less than seven minutes and closer to six minutes. So in this video now, we'll tie a couple more together so that you can see exactly how they how they work, how they're put together, and hopefully you're impressed with, with uh, them enough that you might either want to get the plans and build one yourself um, at, a, at a greatly reduced price or even buy one direct from us and we've tried to, to uh, put this business together in such a way that we can provide the stoves uh, relatively inexpensively to $40 for a complete unit and we'll show you lots of applications on how they can be used as well. So let me see if I can get through another fiddle tune here. And Thank you. 